it's Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be working on the propitiation page in my Lenten journal. And this is not journaling in my Bible, it's journaling in a journal. And these are the things that I worked on this week. I did the cover, and the way that I created this background paper is to take a photograph of the page that I was journaling from John 8, and printed it, blew it up a little bit, and then inked over all the parts of it except for the verse. So the verse would be highlighted. I wanted it to feel really distressed, even wrinkled the paper up and everything and tore it. Then I had some embellishments. I had that light bulb that says believe, and I had that wood block. These things are supposed to use on craft items, but I don't tend to make lumpy craft things. So this seemed like a good thing I could, I could do because this is gonna be a really thick book by the time it's all said and done. I have a pocket with a copy of the study in it. And there's a piece of black paper, you can hardly see it. It has the ragged edge on the right-hand side. The other three sides are adhered with double stick tape so that there's a pocket formed there. And I made my own little arrow pointing to the verse. Next day, I worked on my advocate, my unmerited advocate. I don't deserve his advocacy, but I was really struck this day when I was praying about what would happen if I were arrested? He would be the one who could come in with the key and unlock my handcuffs and spent my day dwelling on that. So next up is a couple pages that I didn't really have any imagery for. And I think I might be getting to that part of the study where images aren't popping straight up for me. So I used some artwork that was some, uh, these are alcohol ink pieces. And I cut the, a background piece and then I made tags out of some others. And just they're really long tags that go like way, way down underneath. And I made the pocket in the same way. I just made an opening on one side of it and put adhesive around three sides so that there would be pockets. And then there's a little dimensional adhesive under the Son of God and Son of Man. So that was two days of journaling. And then the Holy One, I didn't have any imagery for, but I just started feeling the colors that they felt like royal gold lots of bling, lots of shiny things added onto it, and then painted my text on. For today's page, I am working on, as I said, the propitiation. I had to look up the word, and it means the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And I did a quick sketch for what I was thinking about doing, but I changed my mind as I went. You'll see how that goes. It's one of those things that the Lord does with me. I start working on something, and he says, no, how about this instead? So I started by painting some really thin black clouds so that they'd feel all like stormy and that sort of thing. And I even added to it one of my favorite colors to add to a stormy sky, which is a yellow ochre. It's kind of a dull yellow, not a bright yellow. And when you put that into a like blue sky or you know dark blue sky or dark gray sky, it just adds some storminess to it. And that's what I really wanted to focus on for this since he's carrying the cross in this particular image. And then I continued painting down to the bottom with the same yellow ochre color so that there would be some ground there. Now with watercolor, you can paint right through something if what you're gonna put on top is gonna be darker. And as I was working on this, I was realizing I was definitely gonna be doing a silhouette image here. So I could just paint right through everything. So once it was all dry, what I decided to do was something that my church did when we did some renovations. We were going to be painting and you know building new walls and all kinds of stuff. So people went in and on the studs and then on the walls behind the paint, people wrote things. They wrote scriptures. They wrote promises God had given for the church and for their families. And they basically wrote it into the building itself. And then we just painted over it and you know finished, did all the finishing work on top of it. And here I put all of the things, well, some of the things, there wasn't enough room, some of the things I've been forgiven for and the things that Jesus has been the atonement for in my life. And it really brought up a lot of gratitude writing that stuff out. And here I'm taking an, a black ink. It's a waterproof black ink. It's called Carbon is the color and it's by a company called Platinum. And it won't move. Like I can watercolor over this and it won't go anywhere. If you don't have a waterproof black ink and you want to try this, then I would suggest maybe doing Sharpie. You know, write all your words out in a thin Sharpie and then get a thick Sharpie and just cover over it. Now, I'm really bad at drawing people. 
and this was a really badly drawn sketch that I did. So I'm sitting here proceeding with the inking and thinking, I've just ruined it. I was really unhappy that it was coming out this poorly, but then, you know, the Lord just rushes in and saves me. I tell you, he's, he's my bacon saver so many, so many times. And so as I was getting these, these scrawny, weird looking shaped legs, I realized I'm just going to put a robe on him. I know he wasn't wearing his robe at the time. They had already stripped him of his garments, but this is going to work for me because at least it covers the, the not great drawing that I did. And then I used a fountain pen to add in the crown of thorns on the top of his head and that sort of thing. And I am going to do some other elements in here now that are going to hide some of that. So if you're having the same issue that I am having, then pay attention because you can paint other dark things around the figure and then they won't be as noticeable. Now you could put a scene behind there like the skyline of Jerusalem like this. But what I decided to do was to do the skyline of my house. Because what I'm doing here is journaling about what Jesus has done for me. So why am I referring to Jerusalem? I'm, I want to picture in my mind what would happen in my life. And this is where my mind went while I was painting. What would happen if that whole scene from the day that he carried his cross, what if that happened in front of my house? What would I have done? Would I have gone out and carried the cross? I have to be honest, I don't know. Until we're in that situation, we don't know, we can't judge whether or not we would be a better person than some other person who stood by and let him carry his cross by himself. Would we have stood up like Simon of Cyrene and carried that cross for him? I, I don't know. And, and I have to really be honest when I think about things like this and, and wonder, Jesus, do I love you enough that I would have done that? I want to say yes, but I don't know that. And picturing him doing this in front of my house, this is a scene in front of my own home, is going to help me to think through what would I have done and where is my love for him? Where does that stand right now? Where does it stand today as I'm preparing my heart for Easter through the season of Lent? So as you can see, the watercolor is thinner than the ink. So it's going to be more of a grayish color, a dark gray. You can do a couple layers over it if your black doesn't come out uh, gray enough or dark enough. But mine is, mine is kind of going to work. I wanted to uh, to get it all dry. And then you can sort of see the difference between the ink and what a a watercolor would be, but it does hide some of the bad drawing in there. So you can't see it as much because there's all that dark color around it. So I added a little extra dark shadow underneath where he's walking to cover the bad feet as well. So there you go. And there's my finished page in my journal. So that's it for me today. If you want to join in, there's links to everything down below. You can certainly join in anytime. And there's a link even to the page that has all of my entries from the entire 40 days thus far. All right. I will see you again next Sunday. Take care and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.